Uh, as we grow Winnipeg towards a million people strong, uh, we need to do it together. If re-elected, I've made the uh, commitment today that I'll continue to support the United Way's plan to end homelessness. Uh, and we'll also continue to support and find ways to expand the work of the Winnipeg Promise. Uh, the Winnipeg Promise was launched in 2016. Uh, it is uh, an initiative in which uh, I've brought together uh, leaders from across Winnipeg uh, dedicated to finding ways to remove barriers currently uh, preventing low and modest uh, income families in Winnipeg from accessing uh, the Canada Learning Bond. Um, before the launch of the Winnipeg Promise, uh, Can uh, Manitoba was well below the Canadian average when it came to accessing the Canada Learning Bond. And Winnipeg's partic participation rates and those of families here in the city of Winnipeg, they're improving uh, as a result, uh, rising from 42% uh, 42.5% in 2018, uh, up from 36.8% uh, back in 2015. Uh, since the launch of the Winnipeg Promise, there's been a measurable improvement in uh, not only the uh, real number of Canada Learning Bond beneficiaries here in the city of Winnipeg, uh, but also the participation rate in Winnipeg, uh, which is now 6% uh, higher than the national average. Um, there's been a number of organizations that have been working collaboratively with us to break down the barriers uh, to uh, having families access the current Canada Learning Bond. Uh, this is an initiative that essentially scales up the work of the Boldness Project in the Point Douglas area and takes it citywide. And I know other cities are, are looking at what we're doing and modeling uh, their initiatives uh, along similar lines. Uh, this is the first time that a civic level uh, of community leaders have uh, come together uh, to find ways to ensure children eligible for the Canada Lo Learning Bond uh, ultimately receive one. Uh, in addition to continued support for End Homelessness Winnipeg, uh, as well as the Winnipeg Promise, uh, I remain committed to the introduction of a low-income bus pass, uh, the creation of a newcomer welcome and inclusion policy, uh, continuing to invest in support for Indigenous youth strategy, Ashki Anishinaabe Naganiwak. Uh, this, is, uh, this funds uh, community organizations, provides employment development programs for indig Indigenous youth in our community. Uh, continuing to uh, work with our uh, unsafe panhandling uh, committee and facilitating the creation of a panhandling employment uh, pilot program. This is between the downtown Winnipeg Biz and Siloam Mission. Um, supporting the fee subsidy program that's been in place for some time. Uh, continuing to support the, the community homeless assistance team. This is something that was new uh, over this last term. It's uh, an initiative of the downtown Winnipeg Biz and we've been providing funding over the last number of years. And then also introducing more affordable housing uh, by including affordable housing units uh, as part of the redevelopment of land currently occupied by the former public safety building and civic parkade. Um, we've also recently directed the public service to uh, return before the end of this year uh, with the report cataloging, cataloging uh, all current measures taken by the City of Winnipeg with respect to poverty reduction and recommendations on specific measures to further reduce poverty in the City of Winnipeg within our existing budgets. Essentially, we want to make sure that we're getting a better return on that investment and better outcomes for uh, the individuals and the families that we're uh, trying to assist in our community.